Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's tutorial, we are going to show you how to add or remove an object with generative skill. Have you ever wanted to remove an unwanted object from your image or add something new to enhance its composition? With Adobe Photoshop Generative Fill, you can effortlessly accomplish both tasks using the power of AI to generate new content and blend seamlessly with your existing image. So, let's get started. I have this image with me, so I will be removing this part and replace with another teapot, just like this one. For that, I'll be using the lesser tool. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. And then I'm going to make a rough selection around this area. By the way, I'm using the Photoshop beta version. If you don't have this beta version, you will not get the generative fill. So I made the video how you can sign up for this one. So make sure to check that out. So let's get back to this one. After I selected the area, it's time to click on generative fill. Once you click on that, you can either describe it or you can leave it empty to remove this object. For now, I will be replacing this object with a teapot. For that, I'll be writing the T port. Here, you simply click on generate and wait for the magic to happen. And there you have it. You can simply click on it to see some different alternatives. Mm, this is great, isn't it? And if you don't like the results, you can simply just click on it and then again click on generate. This will create some more variations for you. And this is great, isn't it? Yeah, this one is perfect. So let's go with this one. If I zoom in, you can see this one is blending very well with the background as well. So, this is the first image. Let's move on to the second one. I have this image and I want to remove the leaves from here and this one as well. For that, simply just select the area around it. Here, click on generate fill and leave this blank. And click on generate. And just like that, you see the area is now remote. Let's go with this one. Let's select this area and then click on generate fill and then generate. This will remove this part as well. So let's wait for it. And there you have it. This one is pretty good. So let's move on to this one. You get the idea how to remove the exact part that you don't want. Simply just select the lesser tool. Make a selection by this. Click on generative fill and then generate without writing anything. And there you go. So now let's move on to the third example. Just select this one. I have this picture. You see the man is you see the man is painting this art. So let's add a moon here. For that, let's make a circle. Let's make a little bigger circle. And then click on generate fill here right more. And click on generate to see the results. And there you go. You can see multiple variations. This first one is a little bit realistic. If I zoom out, yeah, this looks good, isn't it? And now congratulations on mastering the art of using generative fill in Adobe Photoshop. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to leave thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.